Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding question which was asked in today's TCS NQT exam. Okay, that happened on 30th January 2023. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end. I will be discussing the question. Then I will be discussing the approach of that question. And then finally, I will be discussing the uh, coding part of that question. So do not miss any part of this video because the TCS NQT exams are going on. So this video can help you uh, know that what type of questions are getting asked in this TCS NQT exam. Guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it because see Deloitte hiring is also going on regularly. I'm posting Deloitte interview experiences. So that will also give you update on what type of questions are being asked in Deloitte interviews. And I tend to make similar videos on my channel wherein I have discussed coding questions also, the interview experiences also and different different things uh, that are happening around. So I am discussing all those things on this channel. So do hit that subscribe button as well as the like button for this video and do share this video among your friends also and you can join our telegram groups also the links are in the description box i am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring on my telegram groups okay the links are in the description box so now let's start this video okay so guys first of all we will be discussing the question okay then we will be discussing the approach of the question and then finally we will be discussing how to write the code of this particular question so make sure that you are watching this video till the end and you are not skipping any part of this video okay so let's start first let let's just uh, let's just discuss the question okay so charan is working on the boundary of his house his bo boundary is made up of n bamboos okay all across the house as charan is a trader he has colored his boundaries in two colors green and red which represents bull and bear respectively okay this year he is very bullish on the stock market so he decided to color all the bamboos in the green color currently some are green and some are red the current configuration is represented as a string s where each index is represented as a color of bamboo as the number of bamboo is more he wants to make this task an interesting one so he decided to play a game below are the rules of the game so till now it is all the story given but the main point is that you will be given an string which will contain uh, two colors that will be green and red okay so till now we have understood like this that you will be given a string in which each index will represent a color it might be green or it might be red okay now what uh, uh, what Charan wants to do he wants to uh, okay so what he wants to so he wants to make all the string indexes as green so how he will make it all the string indexes as green so here are some of the rules that are given okay so consider an integer k select a particular index say i and target the next k bamboos okay if the bamboo is colored green make it red and if it is red make it green doing this until all turn green okay so we will understand this more understand more deeply when we will see an example okay i know you will be getting confused after reading this rules so let me just simplify you what is happening currently we have a string which will contain the colors at every index. Now what we have to do, we have to pick up particular k numbers, okay, that will be given into our question. And now in that k numbers, what we have to do, if the current uh, bamboo is of color green, we will have to make it red. And if the current bamboo is of red, we will have to make it green. We will just have to swap these colors, okay. And we have to do this entire process till all the bamboos, all the n bamboos are green, okay. So this is the entire concept of this question. Okay, so more things we will understand once we will see the example. Okay, now you have to find the number of minutes in which Charan can turn all the bamboos to be green. Okay, consider each operation takes one minute to complete. Okay, so I hope the question we have read, I know that there will be doubts in this question. So let's just see an example and we will study step by step that how what is the question what it is saying and how you will have to do this particular coding okay so let's just see the example okay okay so here is the example let us try to understand it with the help of an example consider there are n equal to 7 that is there are total 7 bamboos across the house of charan and the integer k equivalent to 3 at the initial uh, and the initial colors are represented as b is equal to this so these are all the bamboos okay this is our input string let me just write it here separately input string just a second okay input string is this one okay so first bamboo is red then it is green then green then red then green then red then green okay 
so this is the input string what we have to do we have to perform operations on this string till all the bamboos are turned green how we will do it let's just see okay and for every operation one minute will be taken okay so let me uh, let just take at first minute what will happen let us start from index 0 okay why we are starting from index 0 since we have to make all the red bamboos to green so first red bamboo is present at index 0 okay now taking three bamboos at a time why three because k is three that will be given to you in, in question only that is k equivalent to three we will convert index zero to two to vice versa okay so what it is saying we will start from that index where first red bamboo is there okay it is index zero we will take k bamboos together from that index so what are the k bamboos together these are the k bamboos together from the starting index okay now what we'll do we will follow the rules we will make our red bamboo as green okay and we will make our green bamboo as red okay so on minute one what is happening we have taken these three this was the original string and we have taken these three bamboos now we will be uh, changing their colors so you can see here the uh, red uh, the red bamboo became green the green bamboo became red and again the green bamboo became red okay and rest is the same because we are taking only k groups okay we have only taken groups of k in one minute okay so here in the first minute the, the our original string has changed to this particular string okay now moving to the next minute we have to do this operation till all the bamboos in the uh, in the yarn is uh, green okay so now moving towards the next minute okay so this change string will now become the original string in the second minute okay so here our original string has become like this okay so now what we'll do what will be a starting index for this particular minute it will be the first starting from left it will be first index on which our red bamboo occurs so here is our red bamboo okay so we are starting it from index one and how many uh, groups uh, how many group we are taking we are taking a group of k bamboos that is three so starting from this index starting from this index first index we will be taking one two three index okay these are the three indexes now what will you be doing we will be performing operation that we will be converting our red bamboo to green and green bamboo to red so now we have changed okay we have changed our red bamboo to green and green bamboo to red so these were the indexes we have taken so till now two minutes have been passed and this is our change string again we will do the operation because still you can see there is one red bamboo and we have to do this operation till all the bamboos are green okay so what will be the next starting index of the uh, what will be the next starting index it will be the uh, index where first red bamboo occurs from the left so in the starting uh, in the starting of the minute three we will be starting from index four okay oh, sorry index five because our first red bamboo is at index five so one two three four zero one two three four five so we will be starting from index five we will be going we will be get, taking k k bamboo at a time so since here two only two bamboos are left so we'll be taking two bamboos only and what we will be doing we will be vice versa it that is r will become g and g will become r so this is our modified string okay now again we will do this operation because still there is one bamboo left which uh, which is of uh, color red so in minute four what we'll do we will start from index starting from left we will start from the index where first red bamboo occurs that is at index 6 the first bamboo occur okay now what we'll do we will take um, we will take k bamboos so since only one bamboo is left so only in this particular lot in this particular minute we will take only one bamboo okay and that what we'll do will vice versa it r will become g and g will become r so here you can see that our changed string our changed string has become all g's and how many minutes it has taken it has taken minute four minutes it has taken okay so in the end what will be returning we will be returning returning our answer as 4 we will be returning 4 as our answer so i hope now the question and the example is clear to you okay so now what i will be doing i will be explaining you the approach and the coding part of this particular question we will straight off uh, we will straight jump into code because it will be very easy to understand via code because now you have seen that what all things we are doing at what every minute what all operations we are performing so let me just straight dive you into the code so that you can better understand this entire theoretical concept into the practical concept okay so now let's just we will be writing the code for this particular question okay 
so guys for saving time i have already already written the code so let me just walk you through the code and i will be explaining each line of the code so that it is clear to you that how you will have to write the code for the same okay so first of all string str you will take have to take the input and then you will have to take the value of k as also input k means the uh, bunch of bamboos you will be taking together okay next thing is i have i have calculated the int n is, is equal to the string length okay next is int i equal to 0 y int i equal to 0 because we will be iterating over the input string therefore i have taken int i equal to 0 next thing is int minute so minutes how many minutes we will have to uh, take to complete the operation in which we have to convert entire string into green so starting from minute equal to 0 okay okay now what are we doing see we will be iterating over our input string that is while i less than n so this is our outer loop we will be iterating over our uh, input string okay now i have told you that from which index will be starting like let us uh, like here we have started from index 0 so why we have started from index 0 so it is the first index from the left side wherein we have we are finding the r where where uh, wherever we are finding the red bamboo so we'll be starting from the left and the first index from the left where we are finding the red bamboo we will be starting from that index to so to find that particular index where the first red bamboo occurs from the left hand side we have written this particular while loop that is while i is less than n and str current value is g so if the current value is g then we are simply doing i plus plus so once this while loop will be over the uh, index at which i will be pointing the index at which i will be pointing it will be pointing to the r index okay so it will be pointing to the index where r is present or one such case is this where r is present or the after this loop is over the i variable it might be present it might be possible that our input string contain all g's it contain all g's okay so in that particular scenario okay so this once this while loop is over our i will be pointing towards the end of the string that is string has been over i is equal to n that is end of string okay so there are two possibilities whether once this loop is over the i is pointing to the index where r is present or i is pointing to the index where string is ending okay so now what we'll be doing okay now see once we have found found once we have found that our i is pointing to the r once we have found that our i is pointing towards the r but i have told you i have told you that we will be uh, making a window of k size that is starting from index 0 we will be taking three uh, k k bamboos at a time we will be taking k bamboos at a time so once we have found out the index we will be taking k bamboos at a time that means we are uh, we are creating a window here so window that is starting from 0 and ending at 2 here the window is starting from 0 and ending at 2 so how we will be writing that in the code so this is our start point of the window and we have taken a variable which is our end point of the window so start point of the window is starting from i only and end point of the window is i plus k that is if i is 0 so end point of the window will be 0 plus 3 that is 3 third index okay so now what we will be doing now see we have to do our minute plus plus also because we have to do our minute plus plus also because once we have find our uh, red bamboo then we have to convert we have to take k bamboos at a time and we have to do vice versa that is r will become g and g will become r and for one one particular uh, window there will be one minute that will be counted so therefore we have written this if condition if our i is less than n and our current value of i is r then it means we have to do minute plus plus because i have told you that here are two scenarios whether our i is pointing towards the r or whether our point uh, whether our i is pointing towards the end of string so if our i is pointing towards the r that means we have um, we have to take this particular minute with us and we have to do vice versa r will become g g will become r so therefore we are doing minute plus plus okay now see we have done minute plus plus now the main step is to convert from r to g and g to r in that particular window so for that this second while loop is used okay so in that in this particular while loop we are iterating over the indexes of that window so how we will be iterating over those indexes see we have found the window starting point and ending point of the window we have found now we have to iterate over this window so that we have to iterate over this window so that we can do the vice versa that is r can become g and g can become r so this while loop is used to iterate over that window and at this particular line 
but we are doing we are reversing it if it is r we are converting it to g and if it is g we are converting it to r okay and we are doing start window plus plus because at a particular time we will have to come out of this window only and this is our break condition okay so once this step is uh, when this entire loop runs okay what will happen our entire string will get converted into g and our minute value will convert that how many minutes it took how many minutes it took to convert entire bamboos to green so let me just run this particular code for a sample test case that we have discussed it is this rgg okay so we are running it so it will give us 4 as an output and then we will be trying uh, then we will be trying on another input also that is if what if what happens if all our current values are g all our current values are g let's just take 6 okay so here the answer should come out as 0 because currently the input string is only g so we will not have to take any minutes for converting that g bamboos to all g's so here you can see our output is coming as 0 next next let's just see if our uh, if all the values are r and our uh, k is equal to n only that is 6 so here the answer should come as 1 because in single iteration only we can convert all these k values of r to g so here you can see that our answer is coming at as 1 so guys this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you so you can take this screenshot for this particular code and i hope the entire video of the question the approach and the code is clear to you and if you like the video please hit that subscribe button as well as the like button for this channel i will continue to make such videos and thank you for watching this video